Hi folks, Brendan here from Advanced Radio. Today we're going to go through a quick setup video on how to do channel routing with your new Smartbus RRS. Today we'll be using the RRS for Futaba, which uses the SBus 2 protocol. We've already got our receivers bound, we've got our radio on, and we've got our Smartbus powered. Now if you can look into the bus, you'll see we've got two servos connected, one in servo output 3 and another one in servo output 7. We've already assigned these to a channel in our radio, if I move the channel, you'll see one of the servos is moving. That's because we've assigned the channel to one servo, and we're about to do the same with the second one. So we'll pan over to the screen now. We'll go into the main menu by pressing on the white text there. Go into in-out routing. And the channel we're using today is channel 5. So to get to channel 5, we, it says channel 1 there. We use the plus button to page across to channel 5. There we go. And you'll notice that servo 3 is green. Now what we want to do is we want to route it to channel 7 as well. You'll notice that it's blue, which means it's available. And on this screen, if it's grey, it means it's been assigned to a different channel. So I'll try and push on the grey ones and nothing will happen. If I push on channel 7, which is blue, it'll change to green. And if we pan back over to the servos now, you'll notice that they're both moving. Channel routing is that simple with the smart bus. Once you're happy with the routing on this page, all you have to do is hit the save button, go return, go back to the main menu, and your routing's done. It's that simple. Thank you very much for watching, guys.